Well, look at this. Who would have thought? We have another eastern tube-nosed bat in. And this one came in from um, north of us. And the same old problem, barbed wire fence. So this is Talia. And she's, from what I can tell, she's a juvenile. And she has sustained some rather nasty damage from the barbed wire. Apparently that's a fate that... Uh, befalls lots of eastern tube nose bats so she comes in at 46 grams you see the tubes and the tubes twitch independently of each other and it's about the same time last year that um, Tallulah came in she was a bit bigger than Talia and she was eventually released back to the wild after three months in care this one has some different issues um, that need careful management so we'll be keeping our fingers crossed for her but she'll be in for quite some time. It's another reason to get rid of barbed wire fences. Yum yum. Fortunately she really loves smoothie and she'll eat bananas. <laughs> we did manage to get some custard apples for her. Want some more darling? Oh yes please. So we'll start her on fruit tonight. I know that she's settled in for the first night with us and she's been in care for about five weeks with another carer. Yeah, so we just got to get you settled and uh, let nature do its thing and hopefully heal her. We don't know how many tube noses there are down the eastern seaboard. I don't think there's ever been any counts done, but there's so much development going on. This is why we don't generally see the tubes going. We don't generally see them. Um, Tallulah was my first one in 16 years. And she came from an area that... Um, isn't developed, which is nice that there are some areas that they can still live in in peace. Anyway, we'll get on with breakfast and get you cleaned up, madam.